Hey everyone, Couch Investor here with another video for today. Today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm just going to talk about five stocks I would have loved to pick up uh, during the crash, but uh, I decided not to. Um, if you want to have a video about each stock separately, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, we're going to cover, well not really cover, we're just going to go over Snapchat, Apple, Lululemon, Tesla, and the last one is a surprise. Um, so I'm going to start with Snapchat. So Snapchat went all the way up to $19 and 25 cents um, towards the end of January. Then it crashed all the way down to around $8.37. So that's a almost 55% decrease. Since then it has increased uh, by 62%. Now the reason why I wanted to buy Snapchat um, is well it's a social media platform um, that is still popping um, I'm not using snapchat I've been off snapchat I think for two years now or something because um, I don't know it doesn't it's not appealing to me I'm on Facebook much less than before I'm a lot on Instagram and nowadays I'm a lot on TikTok if you want to follow me on TikTok I think going to pop something right here or down in the in the description because um, it's very it's very creative um, and now during the quarantine um, I think a lot of people can use that creative side of themselves and same goes with with snapchat I think it's it's very appealing to younger younger kids 2000 kids of uh, after 2000 and the numbers itself I just went over it very quickly um, it's growing, there's lots of money to be made, and I'm actually very surprised how they managed to survive the whole Instagram stories um, revolution, because after Facebook wanted to buy Snapchat, uh, their CEO, Ivan uh, Spiegel, did not want to sell, and rightfully so, I think he's done an amazing job with the app, um, so yeah, that's one that's one uh, stock that I wanted to buy, but I decided not to. Um, second stock is Tesla. As some of you might know, um, I bought Tesla at $188, sold it at the top at $903 or $906. Um, and since then, it went down all the way to around, um, what is it, $361. That's a... 60% decrease. I decided not to buy it at that price because in my mind I thought it would go down a bit lower towards the 300 mark, 250, something like that. Because yeah, it went up way too fast. That's why I was, that's why I sold because I wanted to invest my money in something else because a lot of solid companies um, crashed and I decided to take my money in those those types of companies. But long term. Um, if I had more cash available, I would have for sure added around that, that price that it went to. Um, fortunately, I didn't. Now, today, it's at around $722. So it went back up by 100% since its lowest um, what, a month ago or something. So if one of you bought it, congratulations. If you traded the stock, even better. Um, but yeah, if it goes back down to around $400, I might consider taking a, a, a position uh, in it again. Um, next stock is Lululemon. I don't know if a lot of you know that company. Um, I've been following that company for a while now. I've missed the opportunity to buy it very low. Um, again, you win some, you lose some. Um, before it crashed, it went up all the way to $263. Then it went back down to around 138. It's funny because I joked with one of my friends who's also investing in stocks saying, so when are we buying Lululemon again? Um, and he said, ah, maybe at around 130. The day it hit 130, I sent him a message, hey, should we buy? And he's laughing. And unfortunately we didn't buy. Um, so it went, it went down 47% and now it's at $207. So it went back up almost 50%. Um, this one I regret not buying because it's, it's a company that's been growing 
crazy during the last couple of years. Um, if you don't know, uh, Lululemon Atletica is a style as Lululemon uh, is an athletic apparel a retailer domiciled in Delaware and HQ in Vancouver, founded in 98 as a retailer of yoga pants and other yoga wear. Who knew that in 98 something like that would become a multi-billion dollar company? Um, Lululemon has since expanded to sell its product internationally in 460 stores as well as online. It's also expanding to more uh, menswear. That's, that's why their revenue is also growing. It's also going to China and everything. So that, that's one I'm, I'm regret. I will regret for a long time. Um, I'm also regretting, um, this is not one of the five stocks, but um, Shopify, I could have bought it at $98. And now it's what, $400, $500 or something. But uh, you, can't, you can't have them all. Um, next one is uh, Apple stock. I've made a video about Apple stock a while ago before the crash, um, but I don't think the price for today hasn't really moved that much. So before the crash, it was up to around $320, $25, went back down to around $218, something like that, $220. So it lost 30%. Uh, since then, it went up 26%. It's now at $284. Um, again, that's again a stock I could have bought at 150, at 170, at 180, and a couple of weeks ago at 220, 215. Um, but I didn't because again I prefer to have during a crash to expand my portfolio in a more in more risky stocks that might quadruple my money in the next five years rather than having a a solid stock like Apple in my portfolio, I would love to have in the next 10 years, let's say. It's gonna pay a good dividend, it's gonna be a solid company, it's still a, it is a solid company as of today. But now I'm 25, turning 26 in a month. Um, I want until my 30th to have a growth portfolio, a portfolio that will make my money grow double, triple my money. And especially thanks to this crash, um, I've allocated some cash for riskier stocks, such as airlines and cruise lines and uh, some uh, hospitality stocks. Um, but yeah, obviously Apple for me in the future is gonna be a must um, to, to have in my portfolio. But as of now, I regret not buying, but it's not as regrettable as uh, Lululemon. Um, I still think it's it's a good price as of now, two hundred eighty eighty dollars. Especially, I'm sure it's gonna go over three hundred anytime soon. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Now, my last stock. Um, I'm not sure a lot of people of you know what it is. Um, maybe some of you may know it because you're in this kind type of environment. It's called LVMH. It's a uh, Louis Vuitton. LV, MH is Mouet Hennessy, is the champagne. Um, it's basically a uh, luxury goods uh, brand. Their CEO, Bernard Arnault, is one of the richest men in the world. I think for, for a couple of weeks or months, maybe, he was the richest man uh, on the planet. Now, uh, they have all sorts of brands under their companies. Uh, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Sephora, Fendi, Givenchy, and a lot more. Um, they keep buying, I think they bought uh, Tiffany's lately, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's it's trading in the US, but it's also trading in, uh, in Europe. So if you want to invest in euros, um, you can invest in euros. If you want to invest in dollars, you can invest in dollars. I'm trying to see if I can find... Um, some more brands, Hermes, um, but I, th I think it, it bought, uh, lately it bought Tiffany's or, or Macy's, one, one, of the, one of the two. You will see a picture right now of the actual uh, company that they recently bought for a lot. Um, so yeah, um, this one I might, I might do a video, a separate video, because I think it's very interesting stock uh, to analyze. So before the crash, that was in January already, it was at 
440 euros, which is about 470, 480 dollars. Um, it went down 35% to around 287 uh, euros. Now it's back up to 342. And that's a, I think also maybe a 30, 18% increase since then. Um, the reason I didn't buy it is again, I think the stock price, the valuation is fine. Just the amount of cash I would have to put in um, to create a position is going to be big. Because if you see here, you buy one stock, it will cost you 300. Well, if you bought it at a crash, let's say 300 bucks. Um, $300, I could have bought 30 stocks of Carnival, let's say. Um, you buy 10 stocks of LVMH, which is $3,000. With $3,000, I could have had a lot of Carnival stocks and shares, sorry, um, plus dividend payments, which would probably be canceled for a year or something. But in the future, I would have preferred to have 500 shares of Carnival rather than 10 shares of uh, LVMH. But again, it's a solid company. If you have it in your portfolio, great great company to have um, this is just one of those that i decided not to currently not to have um, again because right now in the next five to ten years let's say i want my portfolio to be a growth portfolio so my money increases uh, faster than other portfolios and after that when i have a like, steady job maybe i started a family i have my own apartment etc um, i will create a more value portfolio where it's my stocks will be safer less volatile etc maybe even more dividends um, but yeah those are the five stocks that i wish i had bought um, but no regrets you can't have regrets when you're playing the game because um, you're gonna get you're gonna get hurt you're gonna lose you lose money you're gonna have a plan and when you have that plan it should always be a well-written, well-researched plan, and it's all usually going to work work out. Sometimes you're going to have short-term pain, but for long-term gains. Um, again, thank you everyone for watching, so liking the videos, commenting, especially subscribing. We want to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, we're currently around 77, maybe 78 subscribers. So go hit that subscribe button, help me reach 100 subscribers by May, and uh, see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.